the tragic events that have happened that have led people into the streets um, have been a real wake-up call to many Americans that have not been aware of the pervasiveness of these continuing forms of injustice. Um, and I think that as tragic as these events have been, in a way, it is an exciting time and creates a window of opportunity for real change. Um, so all of my research has really been at the intersection of race and criminal justice and inequality. And so these themes are very much at the heart of my work. Um, and I think now there is this um, opening, both among the American public and potentially in criminal justice policy more generally to rethink a lot of the approaches that we've had to law enforcement in the past. Um, and you know, it's sort of this uh, perfect storm in a way because in addition to the public outcry and the demand for justice and for a sense of fairness in our criminal justice system, this is also a moment at which crime rates are at historic lows. So actually, even though people continue to be concerned about crime in the streets and violent crime, uh, the violent crime rate in this country is actually at its lowest level since around 1960. And this presents this real window of opportunity to rethink our justice institutions and to rethink our approach to crime and punishment in the United States.